Alright, welcome. Today I'll show you how to make the cool little spiral pastor thingy using Onshape. First you want to create a document. Then go ahead and remove the front and right plane because it just makes it easier. Then what you want to do, grab a plane up at the top, click here, then set it to 60 or whatever height you want your spiral pastor to be, but I prefer 60 because it's the perfect size. You click the green arrow, or green, not arrow, and then hide the plane because it makes it easier. Now you want to go to sketch, click on this plane, do center point circle. Make it about, if you're doing about 60 millimeters tall, do f probably about 40 to 45 millimeters wide. Boom. Now you can click that. Now, unhide this plane, then do sketch again. Click on this plane, point right here in the center. Now check to see if it's correct. Why is it upside down? There we go. Now what you want to do is loft, click on this, and this. Done. Now do sketch, click on this, now do center point circle. Make it as big as you need, about seven, I mean not seven, nine to ten millimeters. Then you grab line, and you do this. You gotta make it perfectly straight. Now you gotta do this. And since it's not perfectly symmetrical, you click you click up here to this thing. Then go to the click on that and then this and it centers it and then you want to do dimension click on this and then up to here you don't want it to say 100 or over you'll make it say that and then you set it to 30 then you repeat you repeat that process on this side Nope, not right. There we go. 30. Now we want to grab our line again. Click here, then up a decent amount, like to here. Now we no longer need the line at the moment. Now you want to gra grab spline, spline, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. You want to click here and then make whatever really shape you want and then you bring it down to here double click and boom you have that now you might be saying what did I do next well simple now you grab click on mirror you click on this then this boom now it's mirrored now we do mirror unclick mirror then you click here click on both of these now we do it again on this side. Boom. 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 Now we want to do it on the center here. Boom. Boom. Now we do it again. Do center. These. Now we do it again. Boom. 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 Now we have that shape. Now I click the check mark, and you want to click on this again because you want to do this. You go over here to construction, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Then you click on this, 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 and this. And if, oh, well I guess you have to click on construction again, and boom, it should do that, and then you click this. Perfect, now you have this. That's exactly what you need. So what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, show top, then you want to do sketch, click on this, then do center point circle again, click on that, and then go to here, try to make it the exact same size as well as possible, then you want to extrude up to the same height as what you made the cone. For me, that's 60 millimeters. Boom. And then we can hide this plane again. Now, we can add a helix to this and make that 
as many turns as you want. I suggest two. One to two. Now I hit OK. Now we can do sweep, remove, click on, try to click on this, our sketch, then we do sweep path, helix. Boom. Perfect. Now, see, that makes it all nice and correct. Now to remove this right here, we need to click, go down to here, and it'll say surface. Now remove that, and as you can see, this might be too many turns. So we go up to helix, double click it, either change it to one, and I'll see what that does. Okay, that's probably just about perfect. Now we do insert new tab. Now we create a new part studio. Now, when you're in your second part studio, go find Derived up on the top and do Select Part Studio. You want to do Curve, Plane, and the Sketches. Now what you want to do is you want to click on this one, so it shouldn't highlight this, and the dot. Now do a Loft. Okay, it didn't do it fully, but there, now there's the Loft. Now what you want to do is you want to start a new sketch here on the bottom. Now this next step is one of the more important ones. We want to, What we want to do is we want to do offset. You want to click on this. You want to make it an inner by about 0 0.43 is probably best. And if you need to go back and change it, then you can do that. But now we want to go and click on the rest of these. There. Done. There's that. And if we need to go back and change it, you can. Now what you want to try doing is you want to click on the main drawing, like this one, not the one that we used for the helix. And then the smaller, the smaller sketch here, the inner one if we can click on it. Boom. Then we want to go to sweep, sweep path, helix. And this is what will happen, but we don't want new, we want, I mean, we don't want add, we want new. And there we go, that's correct right here. Next, we want to select boolean. And then we want to intersect these two objects. And we have this now. And that should be the inner one. And yes, it's in the, it is the inner one. And the last step is to export the files. And to do that, you need to right-click this and hit Export. And go ahead and name it whatever you need to do and make sure it says STL. And you click on Export. And you do that for both of these. But remember to name it something different and it will pop up in your downloads.